attack. This is definitely true in Sadiq Khan's London. The far-left mayor tried to stop President Trump from visiting the United Kingdom. Fortunately, Queen Elizabeth II invited the American president anyway in a move that many officials have interpreted as a slam against Mayor Khan. British custom frowns upon the royal family making their politics known. Yet Queen Elizabeth II has made subtle hints that point towards a more conservative monarch. During the important debate concerning Brexit, the Queen let some of her inner circle know that she supported the idea of removing the United Kingdom from the European Union. The Queen's invite comes at a time when Khan and Trump have begun jousting on Twitter. While President Trump has rightly pointed out that the UK's lack of an armed citizenry, and London's insistence on taking in more immigrants, is making the entire country vulnerable to attack. Khan has struck back by telling his citizens not to panic. This is the same man who said that terrorism is part and parcel of living in a major city. I'm sure the citizens of Tokyo, Singapore, Warsaw, Prague, Budapest, and Seoul would be surprised to hear that. Mayor Khan's own ties with radical Islamists makes every statement he has ever said about terrorism ring disturbingly hollow. Before he became London's mayor, Khan strove to get the UK. Travel ban against the black nationalist and anti-Semitic preacher Louis Farrakhan lifted. He also shared the stage with a radical imam who helped to train one of the terrorists who killed several UK citizens during the 7-7 bombings. This is just the tip of the iceberg where Khan's connections to Muslim extremists is concerned. The mayor once spoke on behalf of Alexa, an Islamist organization that published books by Holocaust deniers and drive. Yusuf al karadai a hate preacher. Notoriously, Khan told an Iranian interviewer that moderate Muslims are Uncle Toms. For Americans,